welcome back to our New Zealand road trip adventure, but today won't feature any roads at all. We've seen the Marlborough Sounds from above and hiked the Queen Charlotte track on foot, so today we're taking a cruise out into the Sounds to complete the trio. This is a lot more relaxing than I anticipated. Chilling out in the sun, seeing seals. The Sounds are known for having amazing fishing, and as they say, when in Rome. So today we'll be trying our hands at a classic Kiwi pastime. Hold on. Still there? And with some luck on our side, maybe we'll even catch ourselves some lunch. We're taking a half day tour with Sounds Connection, which means we don't even need to get our hands dirty and it should be a beautiful day cruising. I really want to catch one, it's just giving me more motivation though, I'm going to get one. Whether we have success or not, there's three and a half reasons why we think this is going to be an epic day. VLNZ Season 2 is made possible by Motorhome Republic, one of the largest motorhome rental agencies on earth that searches over 200 different suppliers from 45 countries to find the perfect vehicle for your budget. We filtered our search and saved by comparing loads of different New Zealand suppliers. Plus, with 15 years experience and 24-7 customer support, we're in good hands too. There's a link in the description below. Definitely check them out for your next roadie and this could be you. <laughs> this morning we're doing something a little bit different. We've both been fishing before. Dane's been on a fishing charter, but I haven't, so it's going to be my first day today. How, how are you feeling about it? I'm excited. I love a bit of fishing, and I think a charter where everyone knows what they're doing might actually learn a, a thing or two. That's true, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So the reason why we thought this would be a really different and unique kind of way to tackle the sounds is we think there's sort of three and a half things that we like about it. One, we get the bag transfer, which is an easy tick. Two, we get a cruise out onto the sounds, and we've got a mad day for it today, which we're so Ooh. stoked about. Yeah. Three, we get to go fishing, and the half is <laughs> uh, hopefully we get to eat, depending on what we catch, how we catch, what limitations there yeah. are at the moment with the seasonal kind of fishing rules and everything. Sometimes it's catch and release, so we'll figure all that out, and then hopefully we get to eat something. I don't know why we sat down here, though. We should go and sit over there and order some coffees while we wait, because we've got we got about 25 minutes before we get picked right, up. Right, let's go. we got to get coffee. <laughs> That's all good. This one is a double shot. Yeah, thank you. That's my guy. Okay. And this one is a single shot. Amazing. Enjoy. Thanks. Hi, <laughs> Mark. How are you doing? Hi, Mark. Hey, Dane. How are you going, Pleasure to meet you. Good. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you to you. Cheers. Love our stay here. Cheers. Have a great trip. Thanks. All right. This is there. Ready to go catch some lunch? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Are you good to get on? Go for it. Mark's just put out the first line. This one's to try and catch some kingfish. Because we're trawling along, it's kind of only going to go about six or seven meters in terms of its depth. And there's all these interesting techniques that I would never know about. There's a rubber band here. He put it in a spot on the line that he knew was enough line to have in the water. And it's also, how, what were the words you said? Sacrificial. sacrificial. It's a sacrificial <laughs> rubber band because the way that he's got it hooked on there, if we get something on the, on the lure there, it's going to pull, the rubber band will go, and then that's kind of the telltale sign. So it could be breakfast or lunch already. <laughs> what you usually do with these, you mount them back two or three waves back. Quite, quite often they're good at the bubbles. Gotcha. Fish can come right into those bubbles. So yeah. Put, put marlin on the end of the lure like that. that marlin on that? Wow. Okay. That close to the boat, they'll just yeah, come yeah. right in. Wow. Yeah. We'll take that. 
But it's just so beautiful out here too. I'm so focused on the fishing, I haven't looked around. Such a nice day for this. Perfect. So we've got three different lines out now. That was the original one. And then we've got these two others here that are set up. So we're trying to play almost the triple game. Going for different types of fish as we trawl along based on the depth and the, and the type of, of lure that's out there. But we'll see how that tactic goes. I mean, this is the cruise element of it though. Enjoying the waiting. These guys out there, we're having fun on their sailboat because it is just glassy in places. Such a big difference to what we had a few days ago coming out here. Good spot, you reckon? From my fishing knowledge, this is a great spot. Right here in the bay, this is where uh, the fish like to swim. They like to live here because they like the sand and they like... <laughs> it is actually a really nice place, <laughs> isn't like it? like I would like to live here. Yeah, yeah. Taking a break on the trawling. We found a spot here. It looks like this is the go-to point to try and do a bit of bottom fishing. So. There's a guy out here and he is diving down, so let's hope he's he's just scouting it for us. He's going to report back, see what he can find. Otherwise, we've got the old fishing system here to keep an eye out as well. It's around about 20 meters depth here. Just trying to lower this down until I get to the bottom. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> Fish finger. Yeah, exactly. Baby blue cord. Oh, yeah. That's a bit of size. That one's for dinner. Yeah. What's that, 30 something centimetres? Yep. That needs so to be. I'll show you, it'll be about 36, I reckon, 35, 36. They've got to be 33. Yeah, 36 and a bit. I think you called that almost exactly on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remind me what I need to do. Okay, so your thumb, yeah, thumb's going to rest on there. Forward? And then, yep, pull that forward, and then it's going to start to run. Just ease it with your, with your thumb, and we're going to let him go down. See you. And you got about 20 meters. Oh no. Still there? Still there. Oh. That didn't look like it was still there. It's still there, but I think it's just tiny. Yeah. What's that? Bit look small, at you. buddy. What's that one? Oh, you got a terrakee. Is it? Terrakee. Oh, oh, it's size, right here, size different for them, are they? Yep. You did it. Yeah, I got a guy. Look at him. <laughs> So this is the first, you didn't catch in Turkey yet, did you? No. Sweet. No, he's only just 25 and a half. I thought he was bigger than that, but he's big enough. He's in the pan. He's nearly 26 actually. With 1,500 kilometers of coastline and endless secluded bays, having a bit of knowledge on where to go is key. So it's safe to say we would have been a bit lost without Mark. Sounds Connection is a good old family-run Kiwi business offering all sorts of fishing and wine tour options in Marlborough and you can't help but agree with their choice of signage. Did you see the Polish proverb down there? I did, about the, having to swim in three different, <laughs> yeah. what does it say? Fish, for fish to taste right. Must swim three times, in water, in butter and in wine. The limit is two blue cod each, but at this point, mm, some of us hadn't even got on the scoreboard yet. Pretty decent haul so far. What have you called? An attitude. Oh. <laughs> well, it might, might be the most accurate thing you've ever seen. I really want to catch one. This is giving me more motivation though. I'm going to get one. It's so interesting watching people that are just natural at their craft. I think that's probably one of the most interesting things about travel and the tourism industry is that you meet these people that are just so good and so knowledgeable at what they do. I think Mark's caught about eight. And I most, of, in fact, the majority of them have been catch and release. He's, he's got one that's of size of blue cod, and then my uh, terakee, and then Stace's um, goose egg. But um, now you'll get something. I'm going to get a bigger fish than you. And it's just so funny. We obviously look so awkward just holding a fishing rod and just don't even know how what to, mean? How to hold it. <laughs> You're doing well, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, I, you, I, you'll get one for sure. 
Oh, look at that. It's a combo. It's a race. I think Mark's going to win, but go for it, babe. <laughs> He's got one either. I got something. Yeah. Oh, they have two. Uh, it looks very small, but I got something. Yes. Is it blue? Oh, it's not much too small. That's probably right on the money. Not much too small. It's a lot. Oh, fuck you. Look at this. It's raining fish. Take a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> We'll swap fish and you photo. <laughs> you two are just showing know. off now. <laughs> Look at this. No, right. They're nice and fat, aren't they? They look like they're good enough to eat. So nice not having to do the dirty work. <laughs> we get to do all the fun stuff in markets to get his hands dirty. <laughs> that was the biggest thing we ever put on one of our advertising signs and brochures. Was it really? really? Fish removed from your hook. Oh, <laughs> I love it. People <laughs> loved it. Yeah. Because they didn't want to touch a fish. No, removed from the hook and place in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Not directly. <laughs> yeah, no, true. <laughs> biggest catch of the day, this one. That's at least a meter, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, I just caught one too. Oh, wow, it's impressive. How many minutes that? Look at us go. Yeah, we're doing good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, it did take long, we caught more than we needed. Well, I mean, we caught the limit as much as you possibly can, but it was almost too easy. No patience involved, put it down, <laughs> a couple of nibbles straight away, pull it straight out. So many jellies down there. Hey, hey, and a little fishy. We've just arrived at Bay of Many Coves, which we'll show you in the next video. But what's gonna happen is our little bag of fish, fresh fish has been hey, taken don't away. Say little, it's so it was a actually quite bag. big. We gave some to Mark because we were like, we're not gonna eat all of this. So it's been taken up to the chef and he's gonna prepare it for us. I don't know how, I don't know what's what's gonna happen, but it sounds exciting to me. It does, eh? This is a such a great spot here in the bay. Beautiful, eh? Look at this. Hey, mate. <laughs> How was that day though? That was so much fun. I had such a good time. Me there was too. just a moment in the middle there where we were just like catching fish after fish after fish and it became this competition. It was just, I don't know. Yeah. That I was, loved it. That was, I think it actually ticked all of those things that we said in the morning. We've got the great transfer, we've got a great host as well. Mark's an absolute yeah, legend. It was just, he just made it, it was as hands on or as hands off as we wanted to be, which I was really down with. I go. tried a couple times to get the fish off and the feisty little buggers. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, I'm stoked that he's got got some some meal to take yeah, away for himself. Exactly. But that was an awesome day out, and just so beautiful yeah. too. Perfect yeah. summery drink that. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you. All right, enjoy. Thank you. you. Know what you think. Cheers. What did you go for? I went for a rose rocks cocktail. It's got strawberry preserve in it. You can see like the fresh strawberry and lemon and rose. Mm. What'd you get? This. This is the Boomtown APA. Mmm. Yum. Dead. 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 <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's a perfect day to wrap it up. How good. So our fish has been filleted, deep fried, put together with some fish and chips with a little salad, some wine. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we caught this. <laughs> Do you reckon we did the easy bit or the hard bit? The easy bit, for sure. <laughs> because this presentation is class. Oh, it's just falling apart. It's so tender in there. Cheers. So fresh, and I know why, because I caught it. <laughs> Best fish and chips I've had in as long as I can remember. So soft. Well, I mean, I haven't tried the chips yet, but the fish. Wow. That's really good. Like, I'm not just saying that because we caught it. It's actually <laughs> really good. Next time, we'll show you around where we're staying at Bay of Many Coves. This is the go to destination in the Marlborough Sounds for pure luxury. It's not just about the stunning rooms with incredible views. 
It's about the service, the staff, the connection to nature, the drinks, the five-star food, and so much more.